Calisthenics comes from two words, beauty and strength. So the whole time we're trying to move beautifully. Sport done well is beautiful. And those are sorts of things that we should be looking to, to try and instill in our training program. We're super excited to, to share some of this stuff with you that we've gone through um, on our own journey of starting to pull together a bit of the exercise science and the rationale behind how we train calisthenics. Both Tim and Jacko uh, brought together, uh, brought life, if you like, to the, the framework of um, School of Calisthenics. Um, it's got me just really excited to go out and put into practice. I found it very inspiring and it's, it was good to go into the exercise science stuff with you guys and it's fun to try and play with it and, you know, try applying it myself. I found myself constantly writing as well because that would stimulate a lot of my own thought process. If I'm working with a client and they really want to get there, I'm going, I'm going to help you make this as easy as possible, understand the process and then things don't become right and wrong, they become a little bit of variability that Tim was talking about. My name's Andy Elkins, I'm currently a strength and conditioning coach working for British Swimming. I use a fair amount of calisthenics within uh, the physical preparation of the swimmers that we have in Bath. Uh, the main things I was looking for is how we better structure that to transfer to performance in the pool really and getting them doing some stuff outside of their normal weight room or land conditioning. I think for me the main take home messages were selfishly I wanted to take a lot of the framework and then apply it to my own training but also have the capacity to instill some faith in clients whether it's going upside down or giving them a toolkit because it's all well and good being able to play a single note but and then to start putting that together into like a, a movement sentence, but then also have the knowledge and the skill to then start developing that with them. It's given me some really clear guidelines and a, and a structure that I can apply to a larger group of athletes with differing abilities and how we unpick what their limitations in their ability to perform those modalities are, ultimately hopefully get more of that into their training week, uh, give them more variety and allow them to, to swim faster.